For decades, we have been saving files to My Documents folder or even desktop. What is wrong with it? The problem is, if the disk fails, you have no backup. All your effort is wasted. If you send a CC, you have absolutely no control over it whatsoever. And if you don't have the original machine with you, the file is just not available. Now we have a choice. The idea is simple. Every file created by you, which is one person, must be stored in one place. And at all times, it should be only one copy. Now, where is that place? That is called OneDrive for Business. It is like the free version of OneDrive or Google Drive or Dropbox, but much better. It gives you one terabyte of space to store your files. This does work without an internet connection. All that you have to do is use Sync that allows OneDrive folders and documents to be synchronized with not just your PC, but all kinds of devices. Now you can work when you're offline and when you're online, things will be synchronized automatically. Once files are stored on OneDrive, you can access it practically from anywhere. Not only that, you can also access it from various kinds of devices because free apps are available for all these devices. Now, you don't need to send attachments with emails. Just share the file from OneDrive itself. Add the email ID of the person and choose whether they can view or edit the file. Remember that you have never had this level of control on your files and sharing. A better option is to share it directly from Word, Excel or PowerPoint. The method is exactly the same. Once the job is done, just remove the permission from the user or change it from edit to view. As I mentioned, there is no need to send attachments now. In Outlook, just connect to OneDrive, choose the file and send the link. The same thing works in Outlook Web Access as well. Word, Excel, PowerPoint and OneNote can be edited online using any browser and it is best for quick editing or reviewing. Printing is also supported. Now multiple people can edit the same document together simultaneously. With Word, OneNote and PowerPoint, you can use a combination of browser as well as the full desktop edition. With Excel, it can only be web-based editing. The editing is very sophisticated and intelligent. For example, here, this was a shape originally. One user changed the color, another user changed the color to a different one. Now, when both users save, OneDrive cannot make out exactly what is to be done. So it asks you to resolve the conflict and you choose the correct action. Excel files get very special treatment. Pivot tables, power view and charts are not only shown on the browser, they can be edited and interacted with exactly like we do in Excel. So this left side is Excel, right side is the same file shown on Chrome. Another benefit of OneDrive is, even if the Excel file is very large, it is being opened on the server, so it opens very quickly. Anytime a file is changed and saved, the previous copy is automatically saved as a version. You can view and compare all the past versions anytime. OneDrive is not just for Microsoft Office files. You can put any kind of file on OneDrive, whether it's a text file, CorelDRAW or Photoshop or AutoCAD, it doesn't matter. Of course, for security reasons, some kinds of files are blocked. An individual file can be up to 10 GB in size. Now here is a practical approach which you should follow when you start using OneDrive first time. First of all, Take a backup of whatever you have on your local disk. It's not that OneDrive is unsafe. It's just that probably you have not taken a backup for a long time. So it's a good start. Don't try to put all your files onto OneDrive on day one. Just upload the active files. 
Of course, all the new files you should definitely store on OneDrive instead of storing them on My Documents. And then other files can be copied or moved on demand. In short, if you have OneDrive, there is no logical reason to save files to My Documents any longer. Start using it immediately and share this knowledge with your colleagues as well. Thank you.